Okay, sorry, lights on. This is, my God, if you could feel the heat coming out of there, it is off the scale. I am sweating just standing here. So I'm not gonna be very long in here. So, this is the loft over the bedrooms. You remember where the bedrooms were? Okay, so again, you can see a large amount of cable basket running all the way around. Some of them running a little bit light, but don't worry, we've got a couple more wires to pull in. This one here, running, carrying all of the low voltage communication. So we've got the green and CCTV, the gray are just general internet, the black are our coax for our TV, satellite TV cables. So there's the low voltage, which runs on the top deck, and then below we've got our higher voltage, uh, which carries all of our mains cables. The big black one that you see snaking through there, that is the main feed that distribution board. And then you can see our um, runs coming up the back here, popping through, that feeds into our distribution board. And so it's good to have our cables up and off the insulation because that helps to keep them running cooler than they would otherwise do. These are all our heating control cables coming up and popping into the heating panel at the top. There's all the plumbers, back of their pipework, all insulated. Now, we had a real challenge getting cables in and out of this place. So we actually erected a catenary wire. You can probably just about see a coil of blue nylon rope over in the corner. So we put up this catenary wire system and we used that with a, um, a rope attached to pull all of our cables in. Um, and that really saved a lot of trouble. Once they've been pulled into place, we then drop them onto the basket. And we've used, you'll like this, we haven't used cable ties, we have used Velcro. Which means once you've pulled the cable in, you do, under your Velcro, tie the new cable on, and you can do it back up again. It's a lovely system. And it's really good for the environment. It saves all that single-use plastic. Those Velcro ties can be used again and again and again. Other than the cable ties, you cut them and you throw them on the floor and that's the act. End of. Right, let us put all of this back to bed because it is actually Friday and it's knocking on and I really ought to be getting home. Um, I'll just show you the balcony. I like the balcony. Here we are. This is the balcony. That's the view. What a view. It's really beautiful looking across the North Dorset countryside. Mm -mm. Um, got a bit of lighting up here. That's the uh, flue coming up from the uh, fireplace downstairs. Fully insulated so it's not going to be hot or anything. And we've just gone for a really simple but effective stainless steel, ring grade stainless steel spotlight. Uh, switch from just inside. You probably can't tell in this light that's coming on, but yes they are on. Yes. Lovely. It's look beautiful with the uh, accent of those of those bars on the uh, cladding. There we go. What a job! Amazing. So yeah, been uh, been a real quick privilege to work on this. Been here for well, goodness, started started pulling in some of the ductwork and the armor cables in um, November, September, October even. Been here all through the winter freezing cold, driving rain, pulling cables in, putting the baskets up, chasing out the walls, fitting all the sockets. Now summer's here. I'm up in an absolutely baking plant room, <laughs> terminating cables in all of these uh, control cabinets. But it's been fantastic, real privilege to get involved in this. And not just the installation work, I've had, I had hours and hours sat at home uh, doing drawings, uh, spreadsheets, schedules to de detail what cables we're putting in and, and where they're going to be installed. So it's... Uh, yeah, it's a real kind of whole um, holistic approach to the job. We want to make sure that everything works for the customer in the best way possible by, uh, you know, considering everything. Uh, we kind of um, we liaise, uh, we consult with all the other trades on site to make sure that what we install is not going to upset anybody else. It's going to work for the benefit of all. And ultimately, for our customer, because they want to pay the bill. We want to make sure what we supply is what they want. So, there we go. So, Andy Staines from Hedgehog Electrical. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this little tour around this amazing project. Um, hopefully, very soon, we're you know, right at the finishing stages now. We should be 
signing off and handed over to the customer, um, you know, hopefully within a few weeks, barring any sort of extensive work in the gardens. But um, yeah, okay, thank you, bye.